An 11th hour settlement has been reached in the high stakes defamation trial of Fox News in Wilmington, Delaware. This morning, a jury was chosen and seated, but late this afternoon, both sides announced that they reached a deal. Action reporter Maggie Kent joins us live from Wilmington. And Maggie, what do we know about the settlement so far? Well, Rick, we know it's in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Just about 4 p.m., uh, Superior Court Judge Eric Davis thanked the jurors for being there all day and being patient, but he said this had come to an end. And now we're learning more about how much Fox News will have to pay Dominion. Today's settlement of $787,500,000 represents vindication and accountability. Dominion Voting Services claiming victory just as opening statements were set to begin in the defamation lawsuit filed against Fox News. A settlement was reached. The suit was seeking $1.6 billion in damages. Dominion Voting Systems claimed that Fox News intentionally and falsely blamed its machines for Donald Trump's 2020 presidential election loss. Fox News said its statements on air were protected under the First Amendment, protecting freedom of speech and the press. Fox called the lawsuit a political crusade in the search of a financial windfall. During discovery, Dominion Voting Systems recovered emails and text messages from Fox News anchors in which they privately expressed their doubts about the claim that Dominion voting machines were rigged in favor of Joe Biden. Fox News releasing a statement reading in part, we acknowledge the court's rulings, finding certain claims about Dominion to be false. This settlement reflects Fox's continued commitment to the highest journalistic standards. Today, Dominion says the court upheld the truth. The evidence brought to light through this case underscores the consequences of spreading lies. Truthful reporting in the media is essential to our democracy. And at the end of that press conference, lawyers for Dominion said, we'll see you at the next one. They've also filed lawsuits against Trump's lawyers, Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell. We're live at Superior Court here in Wilmington, Delaware. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Rick.